everyone, and welcome back to our playthrough of the DMX version 3 Amber with the Silver X. Uh, Alphamon died. I actually was trying to keep them alive so I could finish as many areas as possible. Will it even let me see? Well, I guess you can see Alphamon's out. I almost said Alphamation. Whatever. Seven years old. They were a vaccine as they ever were. They made 248 battles and 95% of them were wins. So obviously most of those were before they became Alphamon, but still that's a really good ratio of wins. I'm so proud of what they accomplished. We got up to about area 39, I want to say, almost area 40, and we unlocked quite a few Digivolutions. We even unlocked Gonkomon X, which I'm almost wondering if that's what Alphamon was supposed to evolve into, uh, but I didn't have that unlocked in time. So okay, let's go ahead and restart this egg. Meanwhile, Ancient Sphinxmon just won't die. I, I get it. They got their full, full form. They kind of felt a little outshone uh, by their younger brother, Alphamon. They have a lot to prove. I get that. They're very proud of their accomplishments. They're nine years old. Uh, and yeah, look at that. Look at all these stats. They haven't really fought much, but then again, they didn't have the burden of trying to clear all the areas in the game upon them. So whatever. Let's see one more board Garfield face, because I'm just going to assume that any second now, any second, they're going to realize that their rival and brother has passed, and now they have no more things to hold on to this world for, right? <laughs> is that no no you know that's not true ancient sphinx mon you know there are blue skies you know there are birds tweeting in the morning and you know all of that's for you it's just for you ancient sphinx mon it's god's apology for not putting a x at the end of your name uh oh hey Ooh. so small without that tail it would literally just be a dragon quest slime which would be an improvement but that's nothing personal toward any of the digimon's designs it's just that slimes from dragon quest are kind of the perfect being i should really play the autocune desk again the only problem with that dragon quest slime virtual pet is that the amount of steps it requires per day to do anything is just insane nice face kid but yes last night they were alpha mon and i kept going further and further pushing farther and farther into the areas training them and feeding them every like 10 minutes and then I swear I turned around and I heard the funeral dirge. In fact, I was just playing Monster Hunter on my bed and I caught this footage of it dying. Oh, the happy face. He laid such an egg and then he just left. He didn't die. He wasn't sick. He was just preggers. And I just realized that at the very end of it, after it does this, this really slow, kind of strange, simple melody. In fact, I really should take that melody and like speed it up and see if I can decipher what kind of song it's supposed to be. I don't know if it's supposed to be a specific song or anything, but anyway, at the very end of it all, I realized that they don't die if they leave a traded egg. It's kind of more like they just lay a big fat egg and they look really happy about it. I didn't see anywhere in the animation that Alphamon died. It's like they achieved the purest form of themselves, the purest version of themselves, decided to lay a huge egg, bigger than them, honestly, and then just kind of go off into the sunset. Not to die, I assume. So I'm just going to pretend that Alphamon's out there. The Alphamon was like, hey, I just got this letter in the mail. Apparently I am a royal knight and I have got to go answer for my crimes of uh, not showing up and performing my royal knight duties. Anyway, here's an egg. I uh, lo love you. Goodbye. See you later. And then meanwhile, of course, by our uh, 100 years to a day theory, I'm just sitting there with the blank expression on my face. Hey, Sphinxmon. You wouldn't happen to be able to clear Area 45, would you? Because there's Gonkomon X right there. Oh, no, wait, sorry, that's just Gonkomon. This is the part of the story where they're like, I would never, never taint myself with the X antibody, for I am already a perfect creature. Spoiler alert. He eventually realizes that it's basically just free power, and uh, he takes it so that way Yggdrasil doesn't erase him. It's a, uh, you know, it's whatever. Nice. God, I love that blast. Ancient Sphinxmon's thing. Their whole bit is really cool. They're the element, the element of dorkness from the ancient Digimon. One of the 10 original Digimon, for, well, not original, but one of the 10 Digimon from ancient times that saved the digital world. Or the world? All the worlds? Was it all the worlds? Regardless, each element seems to have a counterpart, and ancient Sphinxmon is just the one that people don't really understand. In, in the classic... Uh, the theme of this whole Egyptian thing we got going on. Yeah, they're the Digimon that presides over destruction and death of all things. It doesn't seem like it's in necessarily a spiteful or evil way. It's just in that kind of god of death way. Oh god, we gotta look at this guy. And when you have dominion over death, it just kind of, yeah, you get a bored Garfield face. Oh hey, level 9. That's good. That'll give us an edge that we might need. This last area 45, I just remembered it has like a million enemies in it. Ancient Spinkmon. I mean, this is really a tribute to our bro there, isn't it? It's a tribute. We've got to go and take down Gonkomon and remind ourselves what possibly they could have been. I could just be talking completely incorrectly here. I don't really remember Alphamon evolving into Gonkomon. I do remember... I could have sworn I remember Dodomon line shifting into Gonkomon for some reason. I don't know why. I feel like that can't be right. <gasps> Did you just get defeated by Kentaromon X? Was that what that is? No, no? 
Oh, was that not Centaur Mon X? Oh man, okay, so you know how before it was mentioned that these black buttons, um, they kind of start to rub off on the area around the device? That was a rumor that I had heard, and I didn't want to believe it, but I did notice, or rather, Pulse of Me noticed, um, the black button is actually smearing off on the X around it. Can you see it? This gold isn't quite as vibrant as it used to be. I'm curious as to whether or not it's something that I could just kind of smear off, but it's something that's been happening slowly over time, so I'm just going to assume it's more of an ingrained thing. Kind of sucks. It's not too bad, but yeah. I, what's the solution there? I guess, like, get a little pokey thing and maybe get a Q-tip and use that to press your virtual pet buttons, but then what's the point of that? I guess, um, pressing the button, just going straight down right like this, right? Just going straight down. Pressing the button, taking your thumb off, right? Not going, uh, and then rubbing it off this way, because it just kind of seems like that's exactly where it's gotten. <gasps> oh, hello! Oh, I guess it was like 10 minutes, huh? For some reason in my head, I was thinking it was going to be 30, but I'm thinking of older virtual pets, I believe. Okay, so now we got Gummy Mon. You know, I've been inside a while, and today I woke up kind of feeling slightly... Uh, touched, if you will, about all of the, the, the cabin fever and the stir craziness, and... W when you're alone, and boredom sets in, the mind begins to wander, it begins to go and consider things that previously it would never have entertained. Guys, what if we made Ancient Sphinxmon fight this baby? No, I know, no, I know, hear me out though. What if we made the Ancient Sphinxmon fight the baby? You know? What if, what if we did that? I mean, surely Ancient Sphinxmon would just completely smash them. It would just be like them crushing grapes in a grape tub, they would make gummy wine, but... <laughs> We could do it. <laughs> no. No, I can't. I won't. No, I said I won't do it. I can't. I won't. I told them I wouldn't do it. I'm gonna go before I do something I regret. Uh, I guess we should see the gummy face again, right? That That's something that's more safe. It's entertaining, right? You, you're all entertained by this. Far more entertained than an ancient sneak mon fighting a baby. Yes, far more entertained. Thanks, patrons, for supporting this channel, especially Nobro Shifter, Dog Trainer 89, Iron Possum, and Kitsy Fluff. All of my patrons, you're all great. Everyone's great. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one.